Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I just got back from my bachelorette party in Savannah, so I haven't had a video up this week. We had the best time in Savannah. Shout out to the people who live there. I'm sure it might get old if you live there, but we had such a fun time exploring the city and the food, the people. Everybody was so nice. I'm actually recovering from karaoke every night at Chuck's Bar on the River. That's why I sound like a 60-year-old smoker, you know? I've got that, that voice going on. But it was such a blast, uh, and I'm glad to be home, but we did have such a fun time. Apologies if you followed me on Snapchat, you saw my karaoke snaps. Uh, but I'm back with a video today. I went to the beach while we were in Savannah as well, and I got a little bit of a tan going on here. Like, shout out, can we ap appreciate this like NC30 that I've got going on right now? So I thought this would be a perfect time to film a summer makeup look. So this is a very minimal summer makeup look, uh, but it still looks pretty glam. It's, it's very minimal. You don't have to put a lot of effort into it. Uh, but it's very polished. So this look is actually a collaboration also with my friend Alex McCormick. I have collabed with her on my channel in the past. She's gorgeous. She's doing a similar look just with a little bit more of a pop of color on the lips, I believe. So I will have her channel listed down below. Uh, but yeah, this is the look that I'm creating today. And I uh, just wanted to let you guys know, I've mentioned this in the past couple videos, or I've tried to, if you see videos starting to boil down for me to one video a week, I'm two weeks away from my wedding, so that's probably why. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of crunch time for me, but I'm gonna try my best to crank out two videos a week at least, like I always do. So enough of that, this is the look, and if you are interested in seeing how I got it, let's go ahead and start. All right, so I have already moisturized my skin, and now I'm just moving my hair out of my face for primer. I'm using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Primer. This stuff is really good. Um, I was skeptical at first, but it makes your skin feel hydrated and also silky smooth at the same time. So I have quite been enjoying this, uh, and so that's what I chose to use for my primer today. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Next to Nothing. I just picked up a sample of this recently, and uh, this was actually my first time trying it. I'm not going to lie, I really like this. If you have dry skin, this feels amazing. It really does feel like a balm. It's supposed to be a balm fluid uh, texture. That's how they describe it. And uh, it feels so moisturizing on your skin. It gives you just this perfected skin look without being overdone. Oh, I love it. I, I'm a fan. I'm not going to lie. I knew I liked it from the moment I did the first brush stroke. Uh, so if you're curious about my shade, I'm in this video, I'm wearing Light Plus. I could probably bump up to medium, I would say, uh, just because I felt like this was a tad, tad, tad bit light. I could probably just mix medium and Light Plus. But in case you're wondering my shade, I was wearing Light Plus in this video. Moving on to concealer, I just added a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I just wanted uh, some additional coverage around my eye area because I did go to the beach this past weekend and I wore sunglasses. So I had a little bit of a tan line around my eye area. So I just used the concealer to, um, you know, just blend that out and make sure everything uh, was even. For my contour, I'm using the Hourglass Illume Sheer Trio. That's literally what it's called. Um, and I'm just using the bronzer out of here. This is amazing. I love this trio palette. It looks even better on um, my medium slash tan skin. Yes, this is tan for me. Hope nobody's laughing out there. Um, it just, I, I've been using it while I, you know, have been lighter and I thought it was pretty, but now that I've used it when I'm tanner, oh my gosh, it looks amazeballs. And then just to kind of set that, since I'm not using any powders on my face, I use the Becca uh, Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights. Also love this product. This gives you that. I've been out in the sun all day. I have a little bit of redness in my skin. You know what I mean? That's the look that this bronzer gives you. It's very, very, very red tone uh, and it's beautiful. So I just use that kind of to set my entire face and also bronze up a little bit more, I guess you could say. For blush, I'm using Bare Minerals Vintage Peach Blush. 
This is a really pretty shimmering peach shade. Also a great shade to make you look like you've been out in the sun. And then an oldie but a goodie MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I reached over to pick up another highlighter in my collection and I saw this sitting there and I was like, you know what? Since I'm so pleased with this MAC foundation, why not just pop? Really, can I talk today? Why not just pop on MAC Soft and Gentle? And I'm really glad that I did. I think it complements this look really well. Uh, it's very intense. So if you don't want an intense highlight, I wouldn't recommend it, I guess. Um, but I love it. I love the way it looks, especially with the uh, Next to Nothing foundation. Then for brows, you'll be proud. I actually tried something new. These are the new Makeup Forever brow products. One is just a pencil and one is kind of like a fiber gel. So I use the pencil in shade 20 and just filled in my brows like I normally would with my Anastasia pencil. And then I just finished them off with the fiber gel. I actually really liked the, I don't think it's called fiber gel, so I don't know why I'm calling it that. It's basically just Makeup Forever's brow gel. It reminds me a lot of Benefit Gimme Brow. It doesn't have as much hold, but it still adds color to your brows, if that makes sense. So I was a fan of it. Moving into eyes, I'm using the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Cream Shadow. I think this shade was discontinued. Um, I'm pretty sure it was called Camel. But you can get a MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. Uh, and Ground Brown, that's also one that would be similar to this. I'll list um, a couple others down below. I think MAC even has one called Camel Coat that you could get that's really similar. I'm rambling. but um, So yeah, anyways, I use that as a base. And then I took the... Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, and I use the shade Nudie, which is just that really light brown color. It's matte, and I just use that all in my crease as a transition color. And then I mixed uh, Honey Pot and what's the other one called? Silk Sheets, I think. Uh, just the two lighter shimmery colors. I mixed those together on a Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush, and I just blended that on the lower portion of my lid. Really nothing heavy going on with the eyes here. Again, this is very minimal. This is just kind of to make your lids look like they're glowing and you have an ethereal shine going on. You get the picture. Uh, and then I also tight lined my eyes with Urban Decay Stag Eyeliner. And then I went in with some MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. And I ultimately just ended up applying some falsies. These are the Eyler 117 Texture Lashes. I cut them almost in half because I wanted a more natural lash look. Uh, so yeah, it's not a full strip. It's basically cut in half. And um, I just made sure that the band was blended really nicely against my lashes. And um, yeah, I love these lashes, by the way. They come in a multi-pack from Ulta. Pick them up next time. I think you'll really like them. Or next time you're at Ulta. Uh, moving into lips, I'm using the... ColourPop. <laughs> I have not used this lip liner forever. It's called ColourPop Skimpy Lip Liner. And then on top, I'm using the Anastasia Butterscotch Lip Gloss. And that completes the full look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it's really wearable for all skin types and skin tones. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to check out Alex's channel. I will have it listed down below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.